breaking news for you this evening about the fire that took place on 9920 US 23 North. What we thought was a fatal fire turns out to be a possible murder-suicide between a father and son. Today, Alpena Police Chief Joel Jett and Lieutenant Grimshaw of Michigan State Police held a press conference to further discuss the investigation. Reporter Alyssa McCann has the latest. On Saturday morning around 10.30 a.m., a fire erupted on 9920 US 23 North. What happened inside before the fire took place is still under investigation. Investigators believe 62-year-old Patrick Pekorski stabbed and killed his 27-year-old son Ross and then set their home on fire. At this time we do not know what the motive is. The uh, cause of the death of both have been ruled. We are still waiting to check dental records to uh, absolutely positively identify the two of them. That will take approximately another week or so. The results of the autopsy show that Ross died of multiple stab wounds before the fire was started and that Patrick died of smoke inhalation and had no wounds on his body. Prior to the incident on Saturday morning, a search warrant was out for Patrick Pekorski. Um, as the lieutenant had alluded to, is that uh, they had assisted us uh, uh, Thursday morning executing a search warrant at the residence in which several electronic items were seized at that time. Um, the, the incident involved an investigation for accosting a minor for moral purposes. That's what led us to the home that day. And, um, and evidence was recovered, uh, well, potential evidence was recovered in, uh, for that, that investigation. At the time, it is believed that Pekorski was a school bus driver for the Alpena Public Schools. Make that clear that this is only an allegation. He had not, there was no warrants at this point. He was not arrested, so it was simply an allegation. I think it's very imperative that we stress that. At this time, authorities are not saying if this search warrant was the motive that led to the incident that took place on Saturday, June 17th. I think that would be speculation at best. I mean, who knows what's going through somebody's mind uh, when these things occur. Um, and we definitely don't want to say that A led to B. Um, I mean, people, I guess, will draw their own conclusions, but... At this point, all I can say is we had an investigation. We were at the, the residence on Thursday, and then Saturday that the fire occurred. As you just heard from authorities, two days before this possible murder-suicide took place, Patrick Pekorski was under investigation for potential inappropriate conduct with a female child. Now, Chief of Police Joel Jett said they see some potential evidence from Pekorski's home, including multiple computers. The investigation here is still ongoing, but WBKB will keep you up to date as this story unfolds. Back to you guys.